time for a quick survey. Raise your hand if you've never dreamed of flying like a bird or a superhero. All right, I don't see any hands going up, well, except for you, red shirt over there in Jersey, and you're probably just scratching an itch. All right, so while all of us have dreamed of flying, only a relative handful of people, like the Wright brothers, has actually done something about it. Well, now we can add one more stand-up guy to the list of innovators who didn't give up on a quest to go up. For us humans to soar in the sky, we've had to invent things like hot air balloons, airplanes, wingsuits. Heck, there's even a guy who strapped wings and jet engines to his back. But to take off from the ground and fly intuitively anywhere your mind and body desires is still a reach. Luckily, one fearless Frenchman is obsessed with making it happen. And his first attempt in 2012 was this, a recreational flyboard that launches you into the air with powerful streams of water. Today, all he needs is a backpack filled with kerosene. I flew in a regular airplane to Lake Las Vegas, Nevada to meet Frankie Zapata, world champion jet skier and self-taught engineer who zips through the air like a superhero on his latest innovation he calls Flyboard Air. What exactly happens? You strap yourself into those boots and are these jet engines? Yes, we have five engines and I have two boots put my feet on it, I just strap the boots, and <laughs> that's it. Just press the triggers and I fly. You realize you're making this sound very easy, and it's very complicated. <laughs> yes, yes. This five engine provides thrust. Uh -huh. It's proportional to this trigger. Okay. So if I squeeze the trigger, that does increase the thrust. So we use also stabilization. Mm -hmm. an algorithm to stabilize the machine. So the machine also provides some equilibrium, some balance, but yes. you have to be able to kind of balance your weight as well. Exactly. To develop an algorithm like something help you, but you still control was the hardest part. The so hardest part. it's your brain and the machine working in yes, tandem. Yes, it's the brain and the machine working together mm -hmm. and flying the machine. And are these five jet engines. Are they similar to something we'd see on an airplane, but smaller? This one is a turbojet, so it's okay. more like they use on the, the fighter. You know, like for a the, fighter pilot? The fighter pilot. So this is like five mini fighter exactly. pilot engines strapped to your feet? Exactly. <laughs> Frankie wears safety gear, which includes a flight suit, helmet, and parachute, because he can reach speeds of up to 100 miles per hour and an altitude of 9,000 feet on the flyboard air. He uses a launch platform for takeoff to minimize debris blowback. And it quickly gets really loud. The flyboard air is being tested by both the French and US militaries. So this model won't be parked in your backyard anytime soon, but he is developing a consumer friendly version. We imagine a future that human can go at work with our flying machine. Not really this one, but something similar that we developed by using this technology. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if it takes off. <laughs> yes. <laughs>